Hello guys and welcome for another deck profile for me, the Gangnya. Um, yes, this deck profile will be in English because um, the most viewed videos on my channel are the English ones. So as I promised, um, I will make my content in uh, German and for the deck profiles I will stay with um, English. So that's better for everyone and um, yeah. So this time around, uh, we have um, a deck that is uh, uh, very long not seen on this channel and it's uh, my Blue Eyes White Dragon deck. I rebuilt it recently and I wanted to show you um, what I changed it and how I played this deck. Uh, note this deck may be not so um, competitive in today's meta game. Um, simply because of all the bestial stuff that's going on, banishing your dragons and um, most of the effects wouldn't trigger. But uh, it's a very um, fun deck to play and it's a very beautiful deck to um, to play. I uh, really like um, uh, the Secret Rare Blue Eyes cards um, in American print and um, their full shininess. Um, it's really something else and I, I really like to play this uh, deck and um, I will keep it from now on. So um, I did make a few changes um, in the entire strategy from the deck. I was more focused um, last time on um, Synchro, Xyz and a few um, um, fusion summons. And this time around uh, I made a few changes and I wanted to uh, show you these changes and uh, how I play this deck from now on. Um, I'm still testing a few things out and I had a few new ideas and it works really well for my opinion. It's a good deck, it's a constant deck, it bricks not that often. Everyone knows Blue Eyes is a very a bricky deck, but um, as I mentioned before, <laughs> the same goes for my Dark Magician. And uh, yeah. So then let's start with the monsters. I play, uh, of course, uh, the Triple um, Blue Eyes Alternative Dragon. There are lots of decks that uh, use these cards only uh, one or two times, but um, for consistency reasons I play um, Triple Alternative and uh, of course um, Triple Blue Eyes White Dragon. Um, I have seen a few builds that only play this card at one or two to um, minimize the bricks, but for this version um, you need uh, three of this and three of this because um, my entire deck is very, very, very focused on um, Blue Eyes White Dragon. So I need um, three of the normal Blue Eyes White Dragons. And um, the, cha the first change uh, um, since last time is that I swapped the Kaiba, um, started the Kaiba versions from the Dark Side of Dimension version movie pack because um, yeah, I like this, this more in entire, uh, entirely. I looked at every image up and um, I think this is the best one. And I really like the um, secret rare print on this one. So I wanted to stay with um, this copy. Then I play it or I play um, Triple Jet Dragon. This is um, new. I first started with one Jet Dragon, figured out this is pretty good. Then I played um, two and now I'm playing three because this card really is a powerhouse. Okay, um, you must have a Blue Eyes White Dragon to fully utilize this card, but um, if you have Blue Eyes White Dragon on your field or in your graveyard, then this card really is very cool because if you have two and you have um, very often two cards, um, Blue Eyes Dragon on your field, then your entire field is indestructible and um, that's pretty cool. Then I played uh, Triple Dictator of D. Dictator of D has um, three meanings in this deck. Um, first, his Magician Souls effect um, uh, says that you can uh, mill one Blue Eyes White Dragon from your deck or from a discard from your hand to special summon itself. So it's a free body. It's dark and it's spellcaster. It's very important later on for the extra deck. Um, it is a floodgate because when you have a blue eyes white dragon monster, you you can choose the uh, attack targets from your opponent permanently, um, and that's very cool because you have very big beaters in your deck, and your opponent cannot run this over. And this card has also a monster reborn effect, so it's very cool. Then I play uh, Triple Sage. Um, Sage is mainly to um, 
searching this guys out um, the white stones of ancients uh, at three and uh, two white stones of legends um, I play five stones I know most people only want two of them or three and this um, not at all and uh, most one effectuator instead of these or something other or the ash or impermanence and so on but um, you will see my as I mentioned before my main focus is blue eyes white dragon and I want him as fast as possible in my graveyard on the field or in my hand so that I can do things so and um, I have a few cards that shovel my cards back into the deck just like the blue eyes white dragons and then I need him as fast as possible um, again um, because of this I want a few cards that quickly can me grab or summon a blue eyes white dragon and that's the reason why I play a lot of stones but you will um, see in a few moments that I have very good use for the stones then next we come for the spells I play um, triple trade in uh, because we have in total nine level eight monsters so you don't want to discard your alternative dragon but you want to discard your blue or white dragon and um, you can uh, easily easily discard your jet dragon because it will trigger in the graveyard and special summon itself back so you always want to um, trade in for these two guys mainly for the jet dragon and then uh, you have a decent setup then for the five stones I play uh, triple cards of consonants I know um, the brick but I really like this card it digs you harder in your deck even deeper in your deck and you discard your stones to trigger uh, their effects uh, it's a really cool card and as I mentioned before it's more uh, a funny way to play this deck and not the competitive version so I wanted to play this card at 3 then for consistency reasons I play a Triple Melody of Awakening Dragon um, it can easily search out our main beaters and when you even discard the White Stones of Legends you can search for 3 cards you can search your Blue Eyes White Dragon with the Legend Stone and with this card you can search Alternative and Jet Dragon pop one card on the field with alternative dragon, special summon the jet dragon, and then you're going. Um, then for monster reanimation cards, we have um, first the dictator of dragon that can revive something. Then we have a triple return of the dragon lords and uh, one monster reborn. I do not play silver sky because I don't play um, the uh, what's called the um, the spirit um, normal dragon. The ghost dragon or what's called in the deck that banishes um, spell and traps from your opponent and silver sky is not that good because we have a lot of effect monsters um, in our deck and only the blue eyes white dragon is summonable by uh, silver sky so i choose to not run silver sky and uh, instead these four and silver sky is not so hard needed anymore because uh, simply we have dictator of d and dictator of d is a monster reborn itself um, then for more consistency I play Dragon Shrine uh, Triple Dragon Shrine is okay um, triple, the triple Dragon Shrine is really important because I play Triple of um, this guy the Ultimate Fusion and here kicks in the card as I said that uh, shuffles our resources back into the deck and there is the, uh, where the cards, cards of consonants and Dragon Shrine a shrine really shines because if you shuffle um, your cards back uh, mainly your blue eyes white dragon monsters and you can put it easily back uh, into your hand or field with cards of consonants dragon shrine uh, with, with stones and so on and um, yeah and then you have your um, uh, action going and for, for the last uh, spell I uh, have a little back row removal with Harpy's feeder duster um, I don't play more back row removal I will more make it into the side deck because um, there are not that many um, trap decks going around or back row decks I know it will change in February or March when um, the tra trap structure deck will come then a lot of people will play uh, Labyrinth and uh, Trap Trick and uh, whatsoever but I have a few cards in my uh, extra deck 
that can easily wipe out these um, back row decks. And um, if you know a few blue eyes cards, then you will surely know what I'm talking about. Um, then I will show you what I play in my extra deck. I guess I will start with um, the Synchro Monsters. Synchro Monsters, I only play uh, three. Um, Double Blue Eyes Spirit Dragon. It is uh, very good uh, for hindering people um, activating any graveyard's effects. So it stops Eldritch, it stops Labyrinth, it stops uh, uh, what's called um, the Tier Element cards in your grave. So it's very cool. Then I play one Blue Eyes Silver Dragon. Um, because if your opponent activates some cards to uh, destroy this card or to negate this card or so, so on, you can easily change um, into Blue Eyes Silver Dragon and uh, protect your other stuff. Um, it's not that uh, needed, but um, I wanted to play him. Sometimes you don't get into a Jet Dragon, it's very rare. Um, then you have this guy as an option, but um, yeah. It's a backup plan, you could say. Then I played um, a few links. I didn't play only one link before, I guess, in the deck, and it was Link Kuribo. Uh, that didn't change. I play one uh, Link Kuribo, the beautiful one from Zone Jump. Um, new is Dark, the Dark Shama. Um, there are many darks out there in the decks. Hand wraps, bestials, tier elements, and so on. Every, every deck um, plays some dark cards, so I guess this would be a, a good card. You have two ways to go into dark, um, mainly with your Dictator of D, or if you have a stone, you can go into Linko Ribo and then link into dark. Um, then I play one Celine, the Queen of Master Magicians, simply because your um, uh, dark is spellcaster, your um, Sage is spellcaster, so you can go easily into Celine. And your Dictator is Spellcaster, so you have no problems to revive a Spellcaster from your field with all these magic cards in your deck. It's just like crazy uh, how powerful magic cards are there. And uh, yeah, you can easily revive something with Celine. And uh, yeah, of course, Access Code Talker for OTK. If you have Access Code Talker and Celine in your graveyard, then Access Code Talker will be at 5-3. And if you pop something and you can special summon your Jet Dragon and that's over 8,000 damage for OTK. So it's really an OTK machine and uh, that's something I try try out in this deck and it really, really works well. It's incredible. Really, it is incredible. OTK with Blue Eyes was not so easy as with um, Access Code Talker um, package. So, um, and for the other extra deck cards, I chose to not play any Xyz monster. I know this is crazy, this is really crazy, but I wanted to um, try something out just like in my Dark Magician deck to make it more focused on fusion summoning. Um, then a few people with a, a, a question, um, why don't you play the, um, the uh, Blue Eyes Abyss Dragon and Polymerization? It is simply because it's too slow. Um, it is more consistent and uh, if you play it this way to pump your uh, cards onto the field or in your graveyard and then fusion summoning as to wait to special summon Abyss Dragon then trigger Abyss Dragon's effect, adding polymerization in the end phase. That, that's not uh, how it's working uh, in these times anymore. So I wanted to main, uh, make the main focus of um, fusion summoning and the other extra deck, uh, deck uh, special summoning methods and, jet and protection by Jet Dragon. So Jet Dragon can even um, bounce some problem cards. So uh, in playtesting, uh, Jet Dragon, as I mentioned before, is a beast. So I wanted to make more focus on Jet Dragon and the, on the other stuff. And uh, uh, to make room for that, I cut uh, Polymerization and the uh, um, Abyss Dragon. So I played no Xyz monster. Um, as I mentioned before, I wanted to test out more to fo make focus on the um, fusion plays. And uh, fusion plays are more fun, in my opinion. And um, yeah, the Xyz monsters are good with the galaxy stuff. You can take some control, uh, 
pop some things and so on. But um, yeah, number 38 is a thing to, neg to make negation and so. I know I have no negation anymore in this deck, but it's not, um, I guess, that bad because um, I can make Utikane easier because I have the access code package. I don't need the galaxy stuff anymore because I have the access code package. So I decided to um, uh, have no negates uh, cards in my deck. I know it's a little bit foolish, but I wanted to have more fun with my, my uh, fusion cards because fusion monsters are, yeah, they're my favorite mechanic um, besides the um, synchros. And I decided to make more room for my um, fusion cards. So for fusion monsters, I play uh, Blue Eyes Twin Burst Dragon. It's one of my uh, absolute um, favorite uh, Blue Eyes fusion monsters. It's my second f Blue Eyes uh, f uh, favorite uh, Blue Eyes fusion monster. Um, I won two because of two simple reasons. You can special summon him with, by via fusion summoning or with ultimate fusion. Um, cannot be destroyed by battle, banishing something that uh, is not destroyed by battle. So if your opponent has um, the Tierman cards in, uh, fa uh, in face up defense position, I don't know the name, I think it was Kaleido Heart and some, something like that. They have uh, 3k uh, um, defense points. <clears throat> then you attack, banish, attack the other, banish. So you know what I mean. So it gets easily rid of them. Then I played um, mostly for clearing all cards in my opponent's monster zone and uh, something for the uh, trap matchups. Um, double Blue Eyes Tyrant Dragon. This card is insane against back row heavy decks that relies on trap cards just like um, a Labyrinth. It is so easy. To get rid of every single monster on their field and I cannot do a thing because this card is unaffected by traps and this is amazing your opponent cannot impermanence this your opponent cannot compulse this no mirror force shit or something like that you just go crazy at attack, uh, um, attack into their monsters uh, until they're all gone and then there are the other dragons uh, just slaying your opponent I love it and very easy <laughs> fusion materials then I just it's 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 a little meme you could say, but it's also good against Sky Striker. I play uh, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon, the normal one. Um, I wanted to have him here because um, yeah, it's a, a, a common card. I know I don't summon him often, but uh, it's a very cool card, and um, I wanted to play him because <laughs> why not? I had one space left, so I don't wanted to play three of this. So I wanted to. Make room for this. I just played um, Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. As I mentioned before, if you play against Sky Striker, Sky Striker hates to play against this deck. And your opponent cannot even Widow Anchor your, ultimate, uh, your Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Um, then I played uh, one Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon. Wow, that's a name. Um, this guy is a beast too, because in this deck you can just pop three cards. It is um, untargetable and not destructible um, via card effects. So your opponent must have an access code talker of its own to run over this or he has no chance. And uh, my favorite blue eyes fusion monster, um, Neo Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. I play two of this because um, it just simply steals games. This is no joke. Sometimes you have nothing on your field and just all cards in your graveyard. Then you have top deck or have ultimate fusion. Make this, shuffle all resources back. And then you are going for an OTK because this card is at 4-5. Uh, and if this card is the only face-up card on your field, you can attack up to three times in a row. If you um, send for each attack a blue eyes fusion monster from your extra deck to the graveyard. And to attack um, for more than 12,000 damage is insane. And it really feels good. So this card really, really steals games. And it's a very cool looking card in this uh, beautiful movie pack Secret Rare. 
Um, yeah. In total, uh, that's it. I speak it a lot about these cards. Um, yeah. Then I would say, fight me in the comment section below. What do you think about my uh, blue eyes um, deck in general? I know it's not the most competitive thing, but it is a very fun thing to play. And uh, yeah, that's it for me. I hope you leave this uh, video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys later around. And yeah, that's for me. Peace. Gumi is signing out.